Warriors rise. Hey, what's up, Warriors? It's Coach JB, your top health, mindset, and crypto coach in the whole wide universe. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now, if you're new to my channel, you're probably like, why does this guy say he's the top health mindset and crypto coach in the world? And why has he gone from John Boscus to JV to Coach JV to CJV? Because I am a creator as are you. And I want to say from my heart to yours that I truly, truly love you. So if you don't like a high frequency of love or high vibration in a very even keel, neutral environment, then this probably isn't the channel for you. I am here to just be the expression of love, a high level of frequency, and I'm here to love you where you are. I don't care if you're Catholic. I don't care if you're Jehovah Witness. I don't care if you're Church of Latter-day Saints. I don't care if you're a non-denominational Christian or you don't believe in God. I believe you where you're at, and I accept you for who you are, and I hope you accept me for who I am. But I just want to share that with you guys. That's what we created, the Warrior Academy. It's a loving community of like-minded people rising together. I highly recommend you join the free Discord to get to know, like, and trust us, and maybe join our community and rise together. Because I believe we're one perception shift, one perception shift away from taking the power back. Now, remember, nobody outside of you can control you unless you give them control. Let me repeat that. Nobody outside of you can control you unless they give you control. But you came here to learn about XRP or Ripple or cryptocurrency or how you're going to get rich. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. You already are. <laughs> you already are. You're already rich. You're already healthy. You're already abundant. So let's do it together. Say, I am healthy. I am healthy. Say, I am wealthy. I am wealthy. Say, I am love. I am love. And I want you to repeat that over and over and over again. I'm so happy and grateful for the money that comes to me in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continuous basis. You are the great I am. And what you put behind the words I am becomes your truth. I love you guys. All right, so let's dive right into it. Exciting, exciting. The freight train of Ripple just continues on. Not like a choo-choo train, but a freight train. It's a freight train of success. You better get on board and go for the ride of your life or get ran over by it. But at some point, every single human being has to get on this train. That is a fact, Warriors. That is a fact. Now, I've been telling you guys, I've been giving a warning, warning to crypto holders that 99% of cryptos are going to get wiped out. There'll be probably be about 100 to 200 cryptocurrencies that are going to survive, just like the automotive days, just like the technology days or the internet days, it's going to be no different with cryptocurrency. This happens every single time. It's nothing new under the sun. So your job is to work to pick the winners and losers. And how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you how I do it through things like this. So Ripple and FinCEN introduced the benefits of on-demand liquidity. So basically what Ripple has done, and it came out in Yahoo 2, Yahoo News as well. Ripple, um, this is really cool. They linked up with um, with Lithuania, right? And so they're creating cross-border payments with Ripple on-demand liquidity, enables cross-border payments. So Ripple will be the first in Lithuania, and the partnership represents opening up a new market for Ripple's on-demand liquidity. As a result, the partnership will enable Fincy's customers to make seamless payments between Europe and Mexico, while eliminating the need for Fincy to pre-fund accounts abroad. And if you understand anything, Anything about banking warriors, you would not be flooded out of this technology. The technology itself. Do you understand that banks need this technology to survive? They need this technology to survive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit deeper and I'm going to actually show you a case study that's on Ripple's website. You can go through all this stuff from Banco Santander, if I'm saying that correctly, my, my pronunciations, Santander, the actual uh, fr a person from Santander talking about how much it's benefited their bank by having Ripple on-demand liquidity on board. But this is pretty cool. This is Fincy's website right here. Beautiful, beautiful company. Uh, they are a big big company uh, in Lithuania. So it's amazing. Enabling cross-border payments between Europe and Mexico. And we know that is huge for the Ripple ecosystem. Okay. So we dived in this. Rosie Rios hanging out, hanging out in Dubai, her third trip to Dubai um, this year, and definitely not the last. Always good to understand how American technology and innovation is valued around the world. Her third trip to Dubai. Rosie Rios is on the board of directors for Ripple and said Ripple, the reason why she got on board the board of directors for Ripple is she feels it's the freight train has left the building 
and Ripple is on the freight train. But who is Rosie Rios? Rosie Rios is the 43rd treasurer of the United States. She is one of the last to sign a $100 bill, and she said she is responsible and on a committee to bring in a new type of currency. Interesting. So she got on the board of Ripple, and she's responsible for bringing in a new type of currency. Interesting. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to surf around the website. So this is customer case studies. And I would highly recommend you dive into how large these companies, I don't know why I'm talking like how large these companies, I feel very fluid today. I don't know. I feel peaceful as fuck today. It's wild, but I hope that didn't disrupt you by saying fuck. Remember fuck's a word. It's energy is vibration. <sighs> Stick any breath. I feel really, really peaceful today. I feel really peaceful today. Okay, so the Santander, Money Match, these are case studies, uh, Cross, SCB, Cent B, Transfer Go. There's all these case studies. I highly recommend you go when you're starting to feel uh, f freakish about the market or not bullish about the market. Go watch all these case studies. You'll take a deep breath. SBI is massive. You can listen to all these case studies. So let's listen to one together to give yourself a little bit of peace of mind. Here we go. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for OnePayFX. OnePayFX is the uh, name that Santander has given to its new proposition for international payments. Banco Santander um, is the, the biggest bank in the, the Eurozone by market capitalization. And we have over 140 million customers around the world. The reason why we were... Uh, did you hear that? <laughs> Let's go back real quick. How large they are and they work with Ripple. ...million customers around the world. The reason why we by market capitalization. And we have over 140 million... Thunder um, is the, the biggest bank in the, the Eurozone by market capitalization. And we have over 140 million customers around the world. Okay, I just want to make sure you heard that like three times. The reason why we were, um, we as Santander were interested in, in, in Ripple and able to um, move quickly into this space uh, was, was driven ultimately by the customer need and actually that search for solutions as to how to create that kind of customer experience. Ripple addresses, helps us address some of those pain points that we have seen in the past with some of our customers and that's around being able to generate that certainty and that transparency along the transaction so that we can show that to our customers when they're making their, their payment, they can see how much is going to arrive and they've got that, that certainty about the timing as well. And the Ripple also helps us address the speed point as well. So we, we've seen some, um, you know, some of our payments now are um, instant, which for an international payment is um, a, a, a great achievement. And that, you know, is something that our customers have really been happy with. In um, the territories where we've launched it, we're seeing um, customers do more business with us. So we see more transactions from the, the, the same set of customers. Um, and that's a very positive um, reinforcement of the service. We've also seen some evidence of customers changing their behavior. Um, so as, as, as they understand that the service is faster, and as they understand that service gives them that certainty of how much is going to arrive there, we've seen some evidence of customers using it in, in uh, new ways, a little bit more uh, akin to uh, a, a standard domestic payment. And that, that customer behavior, again, um, is very positive for us because it tells us that people feel comfortable using the service. Now, in our partnership with Ripple, uh, what's worked really well for us is uh, not just the technology, but also the partnership with other financial institutions. We found that certainly a very important point um, as we've expanded and scaled up uh, the service um, to our, our customers. Okay, so let's recap what he talked about. Number one, so we think about technology. We think about cryptocurrencies that are going to be here. Do you, do you, would you agree or disagree that um, this bank is one of the largest banks? Well, he just told us it is, and they're already using the service. Their customers are seeing great success with the service. And the territories that they launch the service, okay, this is how massive Santander is. Go do your research on Wikipedia, right? Anything on the internet is truth. I'm just kidding. But um, it, it, it's just amazing, amazing to see. Back in 2017, Santander was the fourth largest bank in Europe. And now they just said they're the largest, okay, 1.4 trillion in total assets under management. This is back in 2017, SBI, think about SBI, how large 
SBI is in the Asia, Asia countries. Ripple is operating with these companies, Warriors. So this is what gives me the confidence in my XRP investment. And if you go to link to, if you go to my Instagram, if you go to my Instagram, you can get in pre-IPO into Ripple if you are a accredited investor. So if you go to my Instagram page, which is down below, actually, I think the link is down below. If it's not down below, I'll put it in this video. You can click the link and go to link to and get in pre-IPO. Now you do have to be a accredited investor, but Brad Garlinghouse said they are going to IPO as soon as the case is over. Whereas you have to understand that this whole thing is all about bringing in a new Howie test, right? And so this goes into the Ripple case. So Ripple re uh, replies to SEC's last attempt and shoves it down their throat pretty hard. The SEC messed up, uh, messed that up. How can Hinman receive legal advice from the SEC lawyers for personal opinion? I mean, this case is, it's a joke. It's a joke. You can read through all these documents. Um, John Deaton uh, through Crypto Law provides all these amazing documents. But I want to spend a little bit of time uh, chatting with you guys and just really connecting. And that's what I'm going to spend a lot of time doing is doing a little bit more commentary, uh, eye to eye, heart to heart with you, because all this information is great. It's all great. It's all dandy. We're all going to do very, very well. Um, if you stay in the market long enough, you're going to do well. What I want to talk about is mental health, and that's what we address in the Warrior Academy. We have a 120-day challenge where people go through, and people always forget that crypto is their life when they come to our academy. So God said, share with people what they need or what they think they need, which is wealth. And they come in and we give them what they want, which is true wealth, which is heart, brain coherence. So as you go into this new reality, this new quantum field, there's going to be a massive shift in human consciousness. It's already happening right now. Some religious people call it the rapture, spiritual hippies like me call it the great awakening, but we can agree that we're going through a big shift and this is nothing new under the sun. It happened in the 1900s where a small group of people took over our education system, our financial system, right? Think about that for just a moment. Your education system, your financial system, your medical system. Well, right now we have an opportunity to be the change. And we've always had the opportunity to be the change, but we've been indoctrinated into a slave type environment where we get stuck in a debt-based cycle. We go to work to work for money versus making money work for us. And we're not taught the skills and behaviors in order to grow money. We're not taught these skills and behaviors to become accredited investors. We're taught to go to school, get a job that is not even in alignment with who we are. So we're outside of creation. And when you're outside of creation, you're in frustration. When you're in frustration, you end up in stagnation. That stagnation becomes depression. That depression becomes your personality. And then that becomes your personal reality. And this happens over and over and over again. But there's never been a greater time in human history to become an entrepreneur or leave your job for something that you want to do or you like to do. But what I want you to really think about as you become a millionaire in this ecosystem, who are you becoming? That is the most important part of this, Warriors. Who are you becoming? Because when you become a millionaire and you have a bunch of money in your bank when XRP goes to the moon, or if it doesn't, that's the thing. If it doesn't, who are you? That's the most important thing. So I'm constantly working on my Christ consciousness, my higher frequency, and it doesn't matter if all the money goes away. Okay. It doesn't matter if all the money goes away. I realize that I'm already wealthy. I'm already healthy. I'm already abundant. So money will always come back to me. It's fluid. Money is just a, it's not, it's non-physical, it's metaphysical. It's a vibrational frequency that you're holding and it's a relationship that you developed with it. And you either have a good relationship with it or a bad relationship. A bad relation example is money doesn't grow on trees. I have to work for money. I need to get my paycheck. No, 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 no. You are a creation being showing up within the physical reality. You're a high frequency light beam that is attracting the things to you through your activities and behaviors. You're already wealthy. You're already healthy. It's already available for it. doesn't mean that life is going to be hunky-dory all the time. There has to be duality. There has to be yin. There has to be yang. But your job within this physical world is to find that neutrality because every circumstance is neutral. Your emotions are not. That's why our warriors don't freak out when the market dips. That's why I'm so calm. I just had a, a business thing happen, you know? And so, you know, it's a, a, a financial change, things like that. We had a little dip, boom. It's like, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's just a physical change and a change in the ecosystem that is part of the process to take us to where we want to go. So let's not keep attaching to these physical things like, you know, if the market does this, if, if those are conditions, that's conditional, that's time, space, reality, you'll always be in depression, you'll always be chasing something. Unconditional love takes you into non-time, space, reality, where when you're creating and you're building 
and you're making money work for you, it becomes fluid. Time no longer exists. So there's no Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday for me. It's just a day. It's just me existing as the highest level frequency being I can. So I'll continue to break this down and hopefully comment down below if you like these conversations, because I'm going to keep reporting this news to you guys. And we have our amazing crypto team at eight o'clock every day that brings you the news. But I'm going to give you a little snippet here and then I'll go a little bit deeper and just express myself. OK, in the academy, I go live on Tuesdays. I'm going to go live in there and I talk my kind of spiritual talk and I just everything I speak from is spirit. I don't plan any of this stuff. Just so you guys know. I also have a cod podcast called the Coach JB podcast where I'm fully speaking from spirit. Um, all the words just flow through me easily because I'm so happy and grateful for the money that comes to me in increasing quantities, multiple stores on a continuous basis. I'm constantly studying, constantly growing. I'm constantly trying to reach that higher level of consciousness, which is Christ consciousness. That's who I am. So I love you very, very much from my heart to yours, to your family. Let's go get our shit together. Can we do it together? Let's all do it. All right. Warriors. Let's ah, kick the kick, kick, kick ass today. Click, click the description down below and everything you need is down there. Goodbye, everybody.